everybody welcome back to my channel i hope everyone's doing well today i'm doing good and i'm back with another work from home opportunity for you and this is going to be another one of those opportunities that's perfect for beginners if you have no work from home experience if you're looking to get hired fast if you want to be able to make your own schedule just like live ops this is another option for you and it's going to be with the company omni interactions i do have quite a few subscribers that work for omni and i also have a family member that works for omni as well and she had no work from home experience and she started working with this company like a week after she put in her application okay so i did ask her a couple of questions about omni we'll get into all of that later but before we do go ahead and hit the like button also subscribe to my channel if you're new and also share this video for anyone that's looking for real work from home jobs okay so let's go ahead and talk about it first things first with Omni you will have to be in specific states to work with this company I'm gonna put the states right up here on the screen for you if you don't see your state unfortunately you will not be able to work with this company I recommend that you go ahead and try live ops and see if you know live ops has the particular state that's not here with Omni okay so I'll link live ops for you guys as well to go ahead and check that out but yeah you just have to be in one of these states you have to be 18 years or older you do not need any experience to work this job just like with live ops omni is going to allow you to set your own hours you're going to be working from home of course making 14 to 16 dollars an hour and then they have top projects paying 17 dollars an hour with Omni, just like with Live Ops, you're gonna be self-employed, you're gonna be a 1099 gig worker. So that's great because you can write off your business expenses in terms of the, any equipment that you have to buy or if you have to, you know, if you're using a portion of your home or your apartment, all of that can be written off as a business expense. So that's one good thing about being self-employed. I mean, there's many great things about being self-employed, but that's definitely one of them. And they're also saying that they pay you for your available time. It says no more wasting time, hoping you get a call or not being paid for anything other than talk time they say you will actually make 14 to 16 dollars an hour guaranteed so that's great as well and one thing that i really like about omni is the fact that they have chat and email support along with taking phone calls so with live ops is mainly phone calls but with omni you're going to have some chat support email support and phone calls which is great as well and you already know you're just going to be assisting customers you know depending on what type of project you choose of course you're going to be assisting customers helping them with their needs okay so they just want you to have great communication skills, verbal and written, and be able to type 25 words per minute or more. So that's super low. Normally companies want you to type at least 45, 50 words per minute. And then they just want you to have solid computer skills, including typing and navigation, and be comfortable empathizing and remaining patient with difficult callers. So they're not asking for a whole lot and you will be able to self-schedule yourself in 30 minutes or one hour block so again you can use this as a part-time job a side hustle like i said about live ops same thing put this on your resume you know and you know propel you to get better work from home jobs so you really can't lose working with this company let's talk about the application process so part of the application you will have to submit a resume but i don't believe they look at the resumes like that also there is no interview with this job either now with your application you are going to have to complete a 30 minute assessment and that's going to evaluate your typing speed your computer proficiency your customer service aptitude and your work habits now once you complete your assessment the team will review your application and if the information that you provide meets the requirements they're going to invite you to complete a voice audition and the invite will come in an email through their link partner joba after you complete the voice audition, your application is complete, okay? So they're giving you all the information, letting you know how the application process is gonna go. It doesn't seem to be too complicated at all. After you complete your voice audition, they will reach out to you by email or text message, and part of the email will include instructions on how to search for upcoming certifications. And once you find a program that you're interested in, you're gonna be asked to review some critical details. This is gonna include a PDF with important details, answering specific questions about the opportunity and submitting your registration for the program now when you review the PDF you will need to make sure that you can commit to the certification schedule and any other requirements listed so again you do have that ability to pick which client that you want to work for but you definitely need to make sure that it's going to work well with your schedule and that you're going to be able to commit to the schedule and everything okay so if you can commit to the terms and the conditions outlined in the PDF they will ask you to complete their onboarding activities and these activities 
activities include agreeing to their terms and conditions of a campaign, starting your background check, submitting your identity verification documents, also submitting your IP address verification screenshot, and signing any necessary paperwork, okay? So I do want to let you know that you will have a background check, just like with LiveOps. And with Omni, their background check is $19. It's non-refundable. So, you know, if you do get picked to work with this company, you can write off that $19 as a business expense, okay? So again, any expenses that are involved with you, you know, purchasing equipment, paying for a background check, like I said in the beginning of the video, you can write those off, okay? So once you pass that step, you will need to complete your onboarding by completing a W-9. And as far as a W-9 is concerned, that is something that you will need so that you can be issued a 1099 during tax season. As a self-employed person, you will be responsible for your own taxes. You're going to also have to provide banking information for direct deposit. They do not offer any other payment methods at this time. As far as pay, they do go through ADP, which is a very reliable company, and you will get paid every two weeks. And as far as certification, it's going to depend on the client, but certification can take one day or maybe up to five days again it's going to depend on the client and I do believe that you get paid during certification and as far as scheduling is concerned you will be able to schedule a 30 minute block or an hour block so you know you can use this job as a part-time side hustle again you know for extra money or you can work full-time it's totally up to you how you want to do it regardless of how you do it make sure to add this job on your resume because that is going to be you know essential work from home experience that you're now going to have and that's going to help you to get better work from home jobs now, in terms of equipment, they do give you all the information that you need regarding equipment. And, of course, that's going to be a computer, a hardwired, high-speed internet connection, and a corded USB headset. They let you know the internet speed requirements, also the workspace requirements, and the computer hardware requirements. They like for you to have a PC, no Chromebooks, tablets, or mobile devices. And Macs are allowed, they're just not allowed on all projects. And they prefer if you use Google Chrome browser, that is recommended. That is not a requirement. So if you don't have Google Chrome browser, that's okay. They have a nice section that gives you the answers to many of these questions. So if I left anything out, definitely go ahead and check out this section so that you can kind of, you know, go over everything. But I did speak with my family member. I did ask her were there any cons to working with this company. She said there weren't many cons, but she did say that they are a bit strict. So, you know, when you're reading the script for the customer, you have to make sure that you read the script word for word. That's pretty common. I know when I work with Live Ops, it was the same way. So that's pretty common. If you don't read the script word for word, then you know you can get a ding on your record with the company and that can affect you in terms of getting other opportunities. So definitely make sure you're on point with that. They do monitor the calls just because you're self-employed. They're still going to monitor your calls. So definitely be aware of that. She did say that they do have good support in terms of, you know, being able to get help and stuff. She also said that the Microsoft team was very supportive. So that's great as well. So yeah, I think that overall, this is a very good opportunity, especially for those of you who don't have any experience working from home want to get to working from home fast, want to get that experience, or even those of you who are seasoned working from home but are looking for another side hustle, I think that this is a great opportunity. So if you're interested in applying, you can definitely find the link in the description bar. You guys know if you have any questions or any comments, you can leave those below. And as usual, I thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.